Hi folks, Chris here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can replace a brake cable on the Radix Band 5. So if you have a brake cable that looks something like that, you definitely don't wanna just leave that. It could snap at any time. So it's really easy to replace. First thing you're gonna need is a new brake cable. And I will leave a link in the description below to all of these things. You're also gonna need cable tips. So these little tiny guys right here, you can get silver ones, or you can get colorful ones, or you can get black ones. They come in like packs of 50 to 100, so you'll have lots of extras. And then you're also going to need some t something to cut the existing cable with and to crimp the little cable tip on. I just use these little wire cutters. And our trusty PH5 Park Tool P-Handle 5mm wrench. Kind of a mouthful. But I'll leave a link in the description to all of these things down below. And the first thing you can do once you already have all of those things and you have your existing brake cable to replace it, is you can just go ahead and cut this old one. And now that you have that old one cut, I'll show you how to get the old one out of there and put a new one in. First thing you can do is once you have this old one cut, just using your five millimeter, go into this cinch bolt right here. And you're just going to turn it counterclockwise and back it out a ways. You don't want to pull it all the way out because there's a little plate on the other side that's cinching this cable in. So you want it to stay in there. And then just carefully pull this old piece out. And be careful if your cable's all frayed like mine is because these little sharp pieces of wire can really jab you in and uh, it can hurt. Now just come up here to your brake lever. And what you're going to notice is on the bottom of the brake lever, there's this groove that's in here. So what we want to do is on this barrel adjuster, there's also grooves that are little slits that are cut into both this locking ring piece and the barrel itself. So what you want to do is spin it enough so that you line up the groove with this lock ring with the groove that's on the bottom of the, of the brake lever and the groove that's on the bottom of the barrel itself to so see if they're all kind of spin around and the grooves aren't there. So I can spin this and there's the groove for the lock ring. And then I can spin this. Now there's the groove for the barrel and I can back the lock ring out. So now all the grooves are lined up right here. And then if you pull the housing out, and slide this through and then push on the lever you can pop this whole piece right out and the brake cable will come out the other end so you'll have this little nub that's on here and then from here then you can pull this whole brake cable all the way out and pull it all the way out of here so there's our our frayed up end right there and then we're going to put a new brake cable in this one so now grabbing our new brake cable, we want to slot this little barrel end here down into this groove. And you can see it only goes in one way. So just line it up and slot that in. And then you kind of have to cram it back up in there. And then I'm guiding the cable part into this groove and then back through these slots. So if these have turned, just realign them so that the slots are back down on the bottom and make sure that the cable goes all the way up between them all. And then at this point, you can take this lock ring piece and back it out into the barrel and then screw this barrel all the way back in so that our cable's in there nice and tight. Then go ahead and find the other end of your cable, the pointy end, and we're gonna grab the housing back that we have right here and then this end's just going to go right back through the housing and just go ahead and feed that all the way through. And eventually you'll see it come out the other end, but you can just feed this all the way through until this housing sits back inside this barrel. And then you can leave that right there and then we'll go back down to the bottom and I'll show you how to tighten it up. And one quick trick to do before we route this cable through and tighten it is if you see this barrel adjuster right here, if you take this lock ring and kind of back it out a ways, and you may have to turn it pretty tight to get it to move free, go ahead and back that all the way into the barrel and screw the barrel all the way back down. And I'll show you why in a little bit why we do that before tightening this cable in. So now back down here at the bottom of the brake, your cable should be coming out through here. 
and you want to make sure that this piece of housing right here is sitting inside this barrel and that this is pulled nice and tight. Then you want to find the other end and we're going to guide this back behind here. So I've pulled it so that it's actually sitting down through this groove right down in here and going behind this little flat plate that's right there. So it's in between this plate and this little groove. And when I tighten this bolt, it's going to sandwich this plate down and hold it. And then the trick is you kind of need to push this hammer back a ways and I'm holding the cable as I'm doing that. So I'm holding this cable and then I'm pushing this and I can push it until I feel it stop. And that's when the brake pad is pushing against the rotor. So you kind of want to push it till it stops and then just back it out a little ways, maybe like a half inch or so. And then holding it there, I'm just going to tighten this five millimeter bolt back down. And this guy you want to get pretty snug, not crazy snug, but tight enough so that if you pull on the, the brake lever, this cable is not going to just slide free out of here. And then what you can do is actually go back up to your handlebars and pull on the lever and see how it feels. And mine feels like it's pulling too far back right now. So an easy way to add some tension to this cable line, if it feels like your brake lever is pulling too far back, is just to take this little barrel adjuster right here and you're basically turning it counterclockwise and unscrewing it a little ways. And you can see as I unscrew it, I'll just kind of exaggerate it. You can see this arm moving in closer. So what that's doing is it's tensioning the line. You don't need to probably back it out that far, but you can just back it out a ways so that when you pull on the line, the brake pull feels good. And then just spin the wheel. And right now you can see mine's too tight because the wheel's just stopping. So if I let a little bit of this out and pull on the brake again and then spin it, it spins a lot more freer now. So once you get this tension to where you like it, just take this little guy, the lock, lock ring, and just spin it back down. And that holds the barrel into place. So now you have your cable through. Now all you need to do to finish it up is just grab your wire cutters, clip this cable a couple inches away, and then go ahead and grab one of your cable tips one of these little guys right here and just slip it over the end of this. And then the way I crimp them is I just kind of lightly grab these cutters and just pinch them just a couple of times, just enough so that this stays on and you can see it's kind of pinched there. And then I have the new cable through and you're all set. If you want to check out more videos on how you can do repairs and maintenance on your Radix Band 5, I have a whole playlist right there. You can check that out and I thank you a ton for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.